What's up, Dennis Athletes? It's Chris Heria. And it's Bob Oswaldo Today, we're going to be ranking calisthenics skills and exercises from the easiest to the hardest. Oswaldo and I have been training calisthenics for, what, over 10 years now. So we're going to be using our experience and knowledge to create this list. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, let's get started. So let's go over the ranking system real quick. D will be beginner. C will be intermediate. B, advanced. A would be elite. And S would be basically like God tier. All right, let's get right into it. The first exercise is 90 degree handstand push up. Pretty difficult. You have to be able to do a 90 degree hold and you have to be able to handstand. Yeah. So where would you place that? Beginner, intermediate, advanced, elite, or God tier? Between intermediate and advanced. Thing. More to advance to intermediate. All right, so the first one. Now we have a starting point. We know exactly around where we're going to be with the rest of these skills. So advance would be B. All right, coming up next, we have pistol squats. How difficult would you say a pistol squat is? It really doesn't take that long to learn, to be honest. It's more balanced, but if, yeah. you, and if you don't have flexibility, like me, for example, like, you take long. So would you say beginner or intermediate? I would put it into intermediate. I'll say intermediate. I would say it's more like beginner intermediate move or going into the intermediate. Yeah. We'll leave it at intermediate. She iron cross. That's a hard move. The thing is like not how hard it is. The thing is like how hard it's like to maintain. Actually, to hold it perfect, like like the way that you're doing it, it's actually like super super hard. Which one do you think is harder between the full planche and the iron cross? I think the iron cross is very hard. It's harder. Yes. To master. To hold it and to master it. What? Damn. So where would you put the iron cross? Iron cross is the least. So not god tier yet. And then where would you put full planche then? Advanced? Full planche? Yeah, advanced. All right. All right. So let's grab the full planche real quick. So you put this right here, right? Advanced? Yeah. It's kind of funny seeing like 90 degree handstand push up next to full planche because those are like tremendously harder. Maybe we should put the full planche higher. No, I will put that one and then I will put the iron cross all the way up. All the way up? Yeah. God tier. We have full planche, elite, 90 degrees, sure. advanced, pistol squat, intermediate. Coming up next, we have high pull up. This is a tricky one. You don't have to train too long to get this, mm -hmm. but you do have to train the right things. If you don't, then you will be training it for a long time. You know, so high pull ups, I mean, you can get it, I would say, within like a year or two of training. Advanced. Put it in advanced. All right, let's get some hard ones out of the way. One arm front lever. Damn, that's perfect form, bro. Beginner. No. I would say that's like as no. easily. Yeah. Easily. And that, again, same of Iron Cross, you lose it. Dude, ah. so fast. If you don't train it, there. What about Maltese? I mean, that's another pretty difficult one. Full planche is more of like squeezing in and being tall. And the Maltese, Maltese. is more of like being straight arm strength and, and out. And yeah. Wide, like. Exactly. I would put it the same of the full planche. Right? Because you can go both ways. Yes. Like. One arm pull up. That's a tricky one. The thing is that, like, one arm pull-ups are pretty freaking hard, dude. You know, but to rip it out? Yeah, to rip them. But to get one solid one, it doesn't take that long. By the way, we have like technique guides for all of these moves, not only on the channel, so make sure you subscribe, but also in the app as well, the Thenix app. So download the Thenix app if you want a complete breakdown on how to do full planche, 90 degree, uh, high pull-ups, muscle-ups, pistol squat, literally all these moves. Yeah, right? these and the one arm pull-up. Beginner, no. Intermediate, mm, advanced. I'd say it's between. Between intermediate and advanced. It's more, do you but, think it's more intermediate or more advanced? It's advanced. If you can do at least like 15 to 20 pull-ups, you can start learning. At least to begin to start learning the one-arm pull-up. Back lever, that was like one of my favorite ones, bro. This isn't super hard, but it's such a good move. Like it, it allowed me to advance through like the calisthenics uh, skill tree so quickly because I was training like back levers right from the very beginning. So it built a lot of straight arm strength. Or your lower uh, back. So back lever, I would say like that's intermediate, right? Because it really doesn't take that long to learn. One arm handstand, that's a tricky one too. That one doesn't take a lot of strength per se. It does because you need to be able to hold your entire body weight with one arm, but it's not like an insane amount of strength like the full planche, for example. But it does take a lot of balance and control and technique. Flexibility too. What would you consider this one? Intermediate, advanced, elite, god tier. Oh, put it in elite. So let's put it in elite. All right. Boom. Human flag, another beast move, bro. It may not necessarily take much to start beginning to learn it and eventually master it, but once you incorporate it into your training, I mean, it's gonna take your skills, your strength, and your physique to a completely another level that you could have never gotten if you weren't training like this. That's so, one of the most famous. Yeah. Here. So where do we put this human flag? Intermediate or advanced? Intermediate. 
that's my most that oh yeah, you get you get you and then that brings us to this next one too front lever i feel like that's another move that all intermediates should have but it's a little bit harder than all the other intermediate moves 100 percent. especially back lever and like you fly i feel like it takes a little bit longer yeah definitely i would put the front lever it's, for me it's harder than the back lever so would you make it like advanced yeah definitely. all right fine we'll put it as, as advanced all right coming up we have one of the moves uh that i feel like everybody does these days the swing 360. you can learn that in a day as long as you like release high enough i would say like that's intermediate if you do a couple pull-ups you can already begin to learn the swing all right dragon flag that's like the one again one of the first ones like anyone ever tries at least back in the day like when there wasn't really much to try <laughs> that move was like really cool what would you consider this move I mean, it's, 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 yeah. Yeah. it's kind of hard like, to hold. If to engage the lower back and yes. keep their body straight, yeah. But I would just say it's intermediate. One arm push up. To do one is not that hard, but if you're repping it out, I would say it's pretty difficult. Depending, like, if you open your legs or how. So, depending on how good your form is. Yeah. Well, like, one arm push up, intermediate to advanced. Again. Yeah, yeah. More advanced. So. All right. L sit, high pull ups. And to do with an L sit, I mean, that's way harder. Pulling the pull up bar all the way to your waistline. Yeah. You know, like, chest high. No swinging, just pure strength, dead hang. Boom, all the way up. All right, here we go. Just a normal pull up. Depends who we're talking about. <laughs> beginning. It's beginning. All right, boom, we got Ozzy again. Impossible to. That, that moves. Move. If you do it right. Dude, if you do it from the bottom up, I, I say that's like God mode. Yeah. That's God tier. Proper, proper, sure. Yeah. And if you rip it out, like touching and go. Oh, if you do more than one, yeah, proper, dude, it's sure. definitely God mode. If you've never tried uh, an impossible dip, just give it a try. We'll show you what it looks like. Throw some B-roll up there. And yeah, I mean, you're really not, you're probably, most likely you're not going to move. <laughs> you're going to be stuck there like, how, <laughs> how, how is it going to Exactly. We'll put that all the way up on the S. All right, handstand push-ups. This is one of my favorite moves. This one is so good. This gets you like super strong. You can train it anywhere you're at. And you're training upper body strength and balance and technique all in one move. That one will look almost and, every day. Yep. It's still not that hard to learn. As long as you have a handstand. I would say, yeah, like couple reps, intermediate, almost getting to advanced. It's more like advanced than intermediate. All right, 90 degree hold. That should be, I feel like, intermediate. Intermediate. Only. This was one of the first moves, like, I really started getting into. I got my bed arm I, I got my, <laughs> yeah, yeah. my plank from there. Oh my God, bro. What's I was able to do, bed arm, uh, hold, like, oh. You felt your legs floating Ooh. in the air, like, oh yeah. Bro, I felt like I was, I felt like my arms were straight, bro. <laughs> I felt like that was a full clinch. I was ready to die happy right there. My goals are complete. That's gonna go right there, intermediate. How about tuck clench hold? I'll say that's another intermediate. The only thing about it is like it's it's hard for beginners to keep their arms straight. Yeah, the, the thing is that you need to would you say that it's like on the same level as like pull ups and stuff like that? That's where we're at with beginners. The tuck clench hold, I would say yes. Yeah. I would say it's slightly above it, but I, you can slightly. definitely start to learn it, especially if you're doing it like on parallel bars or like yeah, or like floor, you're, like uh, tucked. toe touches. Yeah, like, like or tapping bomb. your. Yeah. Like to hold a couple seconds, I would say, yeah. That's another thing too. Uh, this is a good indication of to see where you guys are at. Check your fitness level. Which moves of these can you actually do and which ones can you not do or you're still training for? And you're gonna be able to have an idea of where you're at, at least in our opinion, where your fitness level is at. And when to move. And when to move on as well. All right, so muscle up, jump on the bar. I thought that was a pretty difficult move. I've also posted more recent guides on how to muscle up, jump on the bar. You guys should check that out. It also takes like a lot of risk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, balls. <laughs> exactly. The amount of strength it takes to do this move, I would say is like intermediate, advanced, squat. Let's just throw that. Let's just throw that down there. Next. <laughs> Hefesto, this is a hard one, bro. I've never been able to do more than one rep in a row. I would say this is a, uh, what, like elite? Cause it's still doable. It's like the other ones are like almost not doable. You feel me? Yeah, okay, bro. Yeah. That's good. Because like to master actually, and you lose it fast. Too. Yeah, bro, you lose that so fast. If you gain like five or six pounds more to curl yourself up, in no. Nah. <laughs> So what about this? Uh, one arm back lever. It requires strength, but it's like you have to be in the right position, right? Because you have to like. Yeah, you can know position your body. Then you go down, so you have to kind of like fight. Yeah, like fight. exactly. Yeah. Fight yourself from wanting to like flip down. Yeah, right? it's, but it's not. But it's not that hard. All right, so we'll just leave that right there. We'll make that elite. Oh yeah, I think I did something similar to that when I was training with Cirque du Soleil in uh, Vegas. That's super tough, bro. All right, so we're gonna put that as elite. All right, we have straddle planche. I feel like that's intermediate, intermediate to advanced. It's really, it doesn't take that much after you've already unlocked the tuck planche to get the straddle. I never did the straddle, but you went straight I full start planche. doing the 90 degree as high as possible. I still feel like it's a big gap between straddle and 
because the gap, the strut is the one that made that gap. Because yeah. you open your legs, so you're fighting like yeah, you, you get open short. instead of get tight and right. close. So you don't lean as much as you're supposed to. Exactly. Yeah. Because you, you shorten your body. I used to be people doing strata like almost, almost forever. No, almost in a split. Oh yeah. Like that's like you, that's a tuck planche. <laughs> yeah. From the side, you you see half half. Right. Body. That's, that's a tuck planche with yeah. your legs to the yeah. side. <laughs> that's the All opposite. Right. So what would you put that? I guess intermediate, right? Because that would be mm. that makes sense too. Because like beginner, you have tuck planche. Intermediate, you have strata. Oh. And then advanced, you, you have, have a pool. Well, elite, you have a pool. Which I feel like, again, that's that that's that gap, you know, where it's like you have to train straddle for a while. Boom. So you finally hit the full branch. This one is the muscle up beginner. You said, Nowadays, I feel like that, you said, that's like a beginner move, bro. First time that I tried, be hey. Okay, let's just be fair. Let's say it's an intermediate move. No, for sure. For a normal. Right. Beginner. Once you can do at least 15 pull ups with good form, you have the strength to be able to do a muscle up. Interview. Just learn the technique. Which, again, again, guys, all of these moves, we have the technique guides and we broke them down step by step exactly how to do them. Just make sure you subscribe, search for the videos on the channel, and to make it even easier, just download the Thenix app and it's all there. All right. So the next one's full planche push ups. You know what's crazy? Like, I've seen some people do better full planche push ups than their full planche hold because they just use the momentum. So they're they able to, like, do a lot more reps. It feels pretty hard. Like, it's still hard. Do like that. Yeah, if you rep, if you're doing a rep Not, and then hold, rep and hold, well, you're doing both. <laughs> so I would say full punch push up is what. Mm. I mean, I was, yeah, I, for sure, it's harder just, than that 90 degree hands oh, yeah. push up. It's a lot harder. I would put it into the same boat. All right, next one, front lever pull ups. That's a hard one, especially to master. You know, like it's easy to get like your first rep, but to do it like three or to four or five or more reps, that's with perfect form too completely and, flat yeah yes. waistline all the way up all the way down completely locked out four range of motion that's elite yeah right 100 percent. all right this is looking nice man so it looks like the majority of these calisthenics exercises most of it for the most part is elite or intermediate exercises yes. <laughs> but coming up next we have push-ups i feel like it's safe to say we can put that as a beginner you can pretty much start doing push-ups like the first day so next up we have a handstand hold yeah i would say definitely intermediate when's the first time you ever unlocked your handstand you held it for at least five seconds i would say in the first six months all right dips let's bring that down to beginners right yeah. muscle up back clap i would say this, it's next to the explosive muscle up but you just let go and you just clap behind your back we'll put it into the video yeah again that was one of the first moves i learned pretty much first person i've ever seen do a muscle up back clap was the person that inspired me to even start kyle's leg yeah. if you guys want to see a video on that whole story as well i'll make a video about that too all right so we're gonna leave that into intermediate which is funny too because the first time i ever seen that yeah. at that time that was like god tier bro all right, so then we have the explosive muscle up. I would say that that's like pretty much right next to it. Right? It's pretty much the same thing without clapping. Mm -hmm. Yes. L sit. All beginners should master your L sit. Facts. Facts. If you think this is an intermediate move, oh, you just need to spend more time on your L sit. Mm -hmm. That should be something like one of the first things that you master. Actually, that was one of the first ways that I trained consistently to get my my abs, bro. Like I did a lot of like L sit variations in my room. Like I would put like either two books or something like that, or, and then I would like be in a tuck and I would do like L sit kicks. Yeah. I would open my legs like this. Mm, I would leg flutters like this. Just hold for as long as I can't drop. No core. And I think because I was I was training that move very very early on in the journey again that like made the whole calisthenics journey a lot easier to advance through all right we're down to the last move that's the 360 muscle up that move is is technical that's the thing for me it's dangerous it's dangerous too so there's a way to do it where you could just do the 360 let go of the bar and spin right next to the bar or spin and barrel roll on top over the that's bar if you guys want to do it the most impressive way check out my technique guide on how to muscle up 360 you can find it just searching the youtube channel and of course you can find it on the fitness app along with all these moves broken down step by step so what would you say i would say this is more of like an advanced move first of all you need to have your muscle of like that you don't even have to think about your muscle yeah. you have to for me for me it's more like between advanced and elite the 360 muscle up at its most basic form and then advanced completed the tier list bro yeah. dude you're the only person on this on the god tier <laughs> it's like only osvaldo's photos that's hilarious no that's bad respect bro for real Love you, bro. That's that's crazy. You're a legend in this game, man. For the S tier, we only have three moves. Mind you, these are moves that we can actually do. We have the Iron Cross, we have the One Arm Front Lever, and we have the Impossible Dips. That it's only right that it's up there. On the Elite tier, we have Full Planche Push Ups, Maltese, One Arm Handstand, High Elsit Pull Ups, Hefesto, One Arm Back Lever, and Front Lever Pull Ups. In the Advanced tier, we have 90 Degree Handstand Push Up, High Pull Up, One Arm Pull Up, Front Lever Hold, One Arm Push Up, Handstand Push Up. Muscle up, jump on the bar, 
and Muscle Up 360. Of course, there's a lot of moves that we didn't add as well, like handstand to full planche, front lever raises, combo moves, and stuff like that. But if you guys want to see us do another tier list of exercises that are literally just the hardest exercises in the world, just let us know down in the comment section below and we'll do this again. Moving on to the intermediate list, we have pistol squats, back lever hold, human flag, swing 360, dragon flag, 90 degree hold, straddle planche, muscle up, handstand hold, muscle up back clap, and explosive muscle up. And then the beginner tier, we have pull up, tuck planche, squat, push up, dips, and L sit hold. Pretty good. And if any of these exercises on this list are moves that you've always wanted to learn, now you can have a better idea of when it's actually appropriate to start training for them, at least from our experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you learned something, smash that like button. Ozzy, thanks for coming on sharing your knowledge and expertise. We really appreciate it. And if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you're always gonna have a chance to win some free Thenix gear. So make sure you're subscribed with bell notifications on. We post every single Monday by 10 a.m. USA Eastern time. And if you guys love this video, YouTube thinks that you're gonna love this next video. So click on that one and I'll see you there. Mad love, peace out.